My name is Neil Grogan. I served in the United States Marine Corps. The first place that uh, we deployed was to Sang in Afghanistan in 2011. We were getting into kinetic engagements uh, almost every day. Guys were hitting improvised explosive devices every day of that deployment. And we ended up with 17 KIA and then over 200 casualties. It's really difficult. And so it was an incredibly hard deployment, filled with a lot of loss. We, we returned home with quite a few of our guys, even though our numbers were incredibly impacted in that time. When I got back from the Marine Corps, I was dealing with a, dealing with a lot, right? Uh, war, uh, I feel like, maims your soul. But I was also going through a lot of personal loss. During that deployment, my wife and I lost our first baby. Your encouragement in, in a battle space or in a battle rhythm is to just push that down. Also during that deployment, one of the engagements we got into ended up with a, the Taliban hitting a, a six-year-old boy, uh, striking him with a round from an ambush we were caught in, and we were unable to save his life. Dealing with that personal loss of losing the baby, my wife was also trying to deal with that loss. How we were dealing with each other was uh, really hostile and what I was dealing with. And really I've kind of put my wife in this picture of an enemy instead of a bride, a wife, to treasure and to serve and to, and to help. We actually grew up together. Uh, we went to high school together, met when we were 14. After we graduated, we went to college. The Lord saw fit to kind of bring us both back to Dallas. We got married in 2010. It surprises me how God worked all that together. She is the treasure of my life. But it, it became quickly evident that the way we were both dealing with loss was sinfully. She was, uh, in her sorrow, spending money to try and cover up the sadness that she was experiencing. And that's really where my eyes, or the way I viewed my wife, changed. I would take control of every financial aspect of our marriage. I was hyper-controlling. I would berate her, verbally abuse her. I also was trying to deal with my loss at the same time through alcohol. My wife, has some grit about her because she stayed in the pocket with me um, despite all of the things that I was putting her through. And so when we lost that baby and then that kid died in front of me, I doubted that God was good and that he loved me. In my anger, I resented him and turned away from him. My wife was nine months pregnant, came home from work, and I was a fifth of whiskey in. Uh, I left inappropriate images up on the computer for her to find because I wanted to hurt her. She found him, of course, and she challenged me. And she says, this all I'm worth to you. And so I, I grabbed a computer and I threw it at my nine month pregnant wife. She turned back at me and said, Neil, like, you need help. And if you don't get help, I have to leave. When I got to work the next day, the Lord worked in that moment. And what came out of my mouth to my chain of command was, I need help. And, and they began to start that process of uh, helping me out. I started to get some sobriety. Uh, my son was born all in that time frame where I'm starting down this journey. I had another belief, which was I can't get better with you in my life. And so I effectively sent my wife and my son away from me and turned her into a single mom on the grounds of getting better. That decision was what hurt her the most because I abandoned them. I wrote a blank check to Naval Medicine to fix me, to do my job again. So I, I told them I'll do whatever you say I need to do, as I would do varieties of trauma therapies, one after the other. What I found was they continued to fail. And so I made the decision to take my life. And that's where the Lord entered that space. And he did that through a phrase that my dad had whispered in our ears as children, do what you know is right, get in the word. And that legacy of my dad would enter into that space and, uh, and I couldn't get it out of my head. That's how God restrained that evil in me. Right before I had called my wife, 
And I said, listen to this Bible verse. And she said, are you schizophrenic? <laughs> But man, God was ministering to me through his very words. And it was, it was, it was transforming. I came home to a hostile environment where my wife was angry at me for all that I had put her through. Over the next couple of years, man, we just started removing the brick out of the wall between us. And God completely radically restored our marriage and also my life. Even in her sorrow and her anger towards me, God was shielding her heart from hardening towards me and uh, because she was praying for me. And they pointed out to her, you know, he's answered your prayers. And, you know, he has. 